Is this the end of game? Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with another pickups video and quite a large one, since we got rid of all our pickups last time. As per usual, after doing that video, the next day, which I think I mentioned, went into town and picked up a couple more bits. But then a few days later, me and the missus went down to Skeggy, old Skeg Vegas, uh, for the day for my birthday. It was the daft and birthday thing. And uh, yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff from down there, really, from uh, Game and CEX. So we'll talk about that when we get to it, because uh, yeah, there's quite a bit to talk about. Um, but yeah, a variety of stuff for all systems in this pickles video, so hopefully a little bit for everyone. And a couple of decent bits and a couple of bits to add in, as you do. Um, yeah, hope everyone is well. Uh, got a, all the videos that I'm filming this week, uh, well I've still got a week off. And um, yeah, I've now got another collection, or my old collection, back in to my game room finally from my mum and dad. So I'll be doing a collection video on that. That is the Atari ST stuff. So if you've been waiting, that will be coming. Um, and yeah, there might be a bit of swearing on the, in this video um, when we get to the game stuff. We'll see how it goes. I try not to swear too much in my in my videos. Uh, trying to keep it quite pleasant and joyful. I might get a bit ranty towards the game stuff. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get on to the pickup, shall we? So, like I say, the next day we went into town and... Um, yeah, found a couple of bits. I always forget the name of the shop, but it doesn't really say on the stick what it's called. It's not a cash converters. It might be a cash generators or something like that. Um, it's a little bit almost on the way out of town, uh, but now and then I'll pop my head in and see if they've got anything new. And we actually found a few bits. Two more OG titles, which we actually needed. Um, but we'll kick off with the Xbox One game that we picked up. Uh, me and the missus were playing this on the Game Pass both really enjoyed it so been looking out for it to get it for a decent price and yeah they slashed the price on this so we picked it up because it's far cheaper than you can get anywhere else at the minute um but anyway it is state of decay 2 on the uh xbox one they got it it was up originally for 10 pound well in fact it was up 15 pound got marked down to 10 and then marked down again to seven there we are so yeah bargain on that Really good game, you haven't played it. It's a survival game, four player co op. Um, yeah, you're just surviving a kind of zombie apocalypse traditionally. Uh, the first one was good as well, but it's only single player. The second one does offer that uh, co op gameplay as well, which, like I say, me and the missus have been playing and really enjoying. So there is just our disc. I did put in my uh, soundtrack, which I got from Holster. From, um, is that the arcade club one? No, Revival, if you give me that. So that fits in there nicely to have a nice addition with the soundtrack. So cheers again, Holly, for that. Then the two OG Xbox titles we picked up. First one was just another club football game, which I don't have yet. Uh, it's only 50p. It is the Tottenham Hotspur one. It's funny, actually, when I picked this up, it's in really good condition. The manual is nice and minty. Um... Yeah, when I took it to the desk, the guy was like, are you really buying that? <laughs> I was like, it's, I'm not into four ball, it's just I'm going for a full set and I don't have that one. He's like, what, are you just buying it for a coaster? I'm like, yeah, kind of, if you like. Anyway, the other one I got for a quid, um, Ants Extreme Racing, based on the movie Ants. You can probably hear my uh, bird in the background is having a right fit at the minute. Because uh, you can hear me speaking because I've left the door open. So she'll probably be chatting throughout and laughing. But yeah, two more OG Xbox titles for the collection. Uh, you may see I've had a little bit of a move around while I've been off as well. So my OG collection is now in this unit. Which, when I add them two games in, will be a full unit, um, double-faced. Um, so need room for expenditure on that one. And Dreamcast and... Uh, Xbox One, PS4 stuff, they've gone over to this side of the room. Hoping to get around to doing a game room tour soon, because the room has changed a lot since my last one. Um, there's just a few more bits I need to sort out, which I'm trying to get done this week. Anyway, digress, let's carry on. So, one birthday gift from the Mrs. Game Related. Um, she's got me Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. 
the physical copy on the uh, Xbox One. It's the deluxe edition, which comes with the DLC and everything. Um, this was digital only for quite a while. Sorry about that cut. Completely forgot to wipe my memory card from my last video um, after uploading it. So, yeah, it filled up really fast. Been wiped. Hopefully now it should be plain sailing. We'll see. Anyway, talking about Mutant. So, yeah, played it um, on the Game Pass. Finished it. Awesome game. Uh, strategy adventure exploration game. So, you play as uh, a bunch of mutants. You find more as you progress through the story. Um... You have a group of two to start off the game, which is Borman and Ducks. These are our... Ooh, a bit of glare, but you, there we are, you can see them. So, a duck and a boar. Hence the names. And now, fucking focus. There we go. So, um, yeah. So, you can explore the map. Uh, there's loads of different sections of maps throughout the world map. And you explore it, you can pick up things, items, weapons, that kind of stuff. And then when you go into combat... It's a tactical turn-based combat, so you're moving your characters um, where you want them to be and selecting actions based on points that you have for the, each character. And yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. The story in it is really, really good. It's really good. Um, so yeah, really excited to play the DLC, which I've not played yet, which offers a new character, um, a moose, and new story, which continues after the main game. But yeah, absolutely recommend getting this game. Um, if you've got a chance to. It's out on all systems now, came out physically, uh, PS4 and on the Switch. I think this would play really well on the Switch actually as a kind of portable game. So all you Switch people, definitely pick this up. Um, just a fantastic game. So we'll be getting into that DLC a bit later. Right, so the old Scare Vegas trip. Like I say, it went down there and saw the day we nipped into the game and the CEX. Just in case we picked anything up, took it back to the car and had the day down there on the arcade and everything. But yeah, we got quite a bit. So, um, I mean, we went CX second, but I'll do them pickups first because there's only three games. And then there's just a massive haul from game. So anyway, the CX stuff we got. I did pick up one more, but it didn't have some manual, so I put it back. I think that was a Far Cry game, Vengeance, on the Wii. It was only like a quid as well, but we left it. I'll get one with a manual. Um, so the first one picked up, Mrs. actually found this, she quite enjoyed this game on the 360, which is the second one, but the first one I think only came out on the Wii, um, so it's Disney's Epic Mickey, uh, this is only 250 so bargain on that, I don't know, I don't think this one is, um, no this one's not co-op, this one's just single player, obviously the second game, the thing it's Power of Two, is a co-op game, which we've been uh, trying to play through, but again, good condition on this. And is this the one he put a double? No, it's not. That must have been another one. Um, yeah, add that into your Wii collection. So another Wii game. Not had any Wii for a little while, but we've got some coming. And then two 360 games to add into that collection. Nice and cheap. Uh, the first one, only 50p. I have, again, played it from a blockbuster days and finished it. This is an extremely easy 1000G for all you achievement hunters. Um, jumper. Griffin story based on the uh, movie with Sam Jackson and uh, oh Billy Elliot forgetting his name yeah the, him what is his bloody name completely forgot but yeah 50p uh, extremely quick and easy thousand G I think there was one achievement which was kind of glitched um, but managed to get it in the end so that is there uh, again just to add into the collection just a bit of nostalgia and adding a game in I don't know. It's 50p. Thought I'd pick it up. It is not a great game. Not a great game, though. Things we do. Uh, and then I found this, which I'd never seen or heard of before. And uh, I quite like my rock band Guitar Hero type games. And this is one of those games. Just never heard of it. It's a Konami game. A 50p again. Rock Revolution. I don't know. Never heard or seen of it before, so 50p I thought, yeah, I'll definitely pick that up. It says it's compatible with all drum and guitar controllers, so it's got drumming on there as well. Um, over 40 mind-bending rock tracks. Uh, it's got some pretty good songs on the back, which caught my eye. There's some Queen on there as well, which I really like Queen, so give that a go. Uh, I think 
And it's got multiplayer on it, play songs, learn techniques, create set lists and more in career mode. Create your own music in a state of the art multi track studio. I'll show you some uh, screenshots. For those that are interest, <laughs> interested, I'm still going to open the cases because I've bust my thumb, so bear with me with that. But yeah, great condition on that one as well. Like, really nice condition on the manual. It's nice to get a manual. We'll come to that. Uh, so yeah, there are CX Skeggy pickups. Then, on to game. I might need a drink for this one. Okay. What are you doing? Anyway, do the quick one first. So, another 4 for 20 deal. Picked up, I think it was Eddie Rollercord asked if I'd picked any or seen any of the 3DS stuff up. My stores don't really have any or I'd not seen any. They've got loads of old gen stuff in the Skeggy um, game. So if you are still after old gen stuff and can't find it, and fancy a trip down to Skeggy, the game in Skeggy have quite a lot for all systems. Loads of PS3, still quite a lot of Xbox 360 stuff, although there was a lot of duplicates of stuff. Um, a fair bit of Wii, DS. Wii U stuff there, although we almost cleared them out of Wii U stuff, we'll come to that. But they did still have a few left. And yeah, I had a, f a few 3DS games in the 4th 20, so we made a 4th 20 deal. So the 3DS stuff we got, picked up this one. I don't even have a 3DS yet, but I do have some 3DS games, because when we do pick one up, I'll have some stuff to play on it. Uh, so this one I'm not sure whether I'll keep or trade in, because it does trade in for a little bit more than what we got it anyway. So Metroid Prime Federation Force. So obviously worked out these worked out at five each. Um, no manual, no fucking manual. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. Now the problem with not having a manual is they don't any have anywhere to stick those stupid little white game stickers on. So what do they do? Stick it on the fucking cart. So bloody great sticker on the cart, which. I managed to get off without ripping the label, but I can see it being an absolute pain in the arse trying to get some off, especially when they've been on there a while. They're just going to trash the man the, uh, the stickers on carts. Just mind freaking boggles. So we'll do this and then we'll we'll talk about that. So yeah, Rayman 3D was our next one on the 3DS. Uh, I don't mind Rayman games, I've not played a lot of them, but the ones I've played are alright, so I thought this could be alright when we do get the 3DS. Obviously, same problem, no manual, just the cart. So yeah, I did break up my rule of not getting, of getting games without manuals. I'll come to that in a second. Um, but again, some of them can trade in for a bit more, so I can trade them in if I want to. Plus, I can still try and source the manuals from like CX or whatever, which is what I'm going to try and do with some of these. Uh, then two Xbox One games to finish off the fourth twenty. Uh, they didn't have much for selection. There was one that I've been after, and yeah, I did see this. There was one copy, and the missus was like, "Oh, you like that game?" So, oh yeah, I don't have the physical copy yet on the Xbox One anyway. Dark Siders, War Mastered Edition. Absolutely love this game. I've mentioned it loads of times. So I think I've got it on every system now. Um, it's just a great game. Absolutely love the series. So yeah, there is our disc in there for that one. And same problem with these. There's no manual or super paper, so they're sticking them stickers on the disc. And if you've already seen my last video where I bought an Xbox One game without a manual with a sticker on the bloody disc, it ripped the disc. It actually ripped the artwork off the disc. They're just bloody stupid. Um, so like I say, I actually think these will be my last ever pre-owned pickups from game. If there's anything I want new that's cheap in a sale or a collector's edition, I may still consider picking them up. Just get on my card because I've got quite a lot of points on there. Um, but I will not be buying pre-owned from game anymore. Absolutely won't be. It's just, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, prices, no manuals, the stupid Fucking stickers on everything, which is just trashing the games. Just, just poor business mentality. Anyway, the last one in this deal. 4 for 20. Uh, we got Recall. Another game I played on the Game Pass when the missus had it. Really getting into it. Quite enjoyed it. So I thought I'd pick, 
pick it up physical, give it a go, because Game Pass isn't something I'm going to be subscribed to on a regular basis. So just use it to try out some games and then pick them up physically. Um, so yeah, quite enjoyed this. Nice little third-person adventure game. Uh, I've not got too far into it. Um, but yeah, looking forward to finishing that off. You have a little kind of robot dog thing that follows you around and helps you out with abilities and that kind of stuff. And it's just nice exploration and finding stuff on it. So yeah, there was our four for 20 without manuals. So here's the rest of the stuff we got. So 360, Wii and Wii U. Now, before I pick these up, I said to the guy behind the counter, um, is it true that you're now throwing away manuals for all your games. So all the, because the eight, these already had stickers on them, you know, stupid bloody security tags to put on. They were on the shop floor with tags on, so they already had the discs in, but obviously I couldn't look inside them because of the tags. So I said, yeah, are all of these games not gonna have manuals because you throw them away? He said, yeah, unfortunately that's true. None of the games will have manuals because we have to now throw all manuals in any paperwork that comes in a game, we have to throw away. It is um, region, UK wide. It's, yeah, store wide, business wide, however you want to put it. Every store will be throwing away their manuals, or at least they should do. I was like, why is that? That is just ridiculous. It's stupid. It's like, yeah, unfortunately there was an incident once in one store where, and I think Eddie mentioned this in the comments on my last video, where someone had hidden drugs in a manual. A customer had bought said game and obviously found the drugs in there. I don't know what happened, whether they went to the police, whatever person. I don't know too much on the story. They didn't tell me. All they said was drugs were hidden in a manual, so now they throw away all the manuals. I'm sorry, but do your fucking job. Do your job. If a game gets traded in, check the fucking game. Check the manual. Check the, the disc. You should be checking the disc anyway. But yeah, does it take two seconds to flick through a pissing manual to check that there's no drugs or unwanted substances or anything in there that shouldn't be? Just to flick through, hold it, give it a shake. Two freaking seconds. But no, they're now thrown away manuals for all these games. And it doesn't matter whether, obviously, they're, they're getting rid of these games anyway, they won't be stocking them soon. That's not the pissing point. The point is, all these games, whether they're last gen or not, and people think, oh, they're not worth anything in a minute, I mean, 49p a pound, it doesn't matter. We thought that for other gens of games. In many years to come, people who want to collect these games won't be able to get the manuals in it because these fucking retards have thrown them all away. And yeah, there might be multiple copies of these games that might be easy to get and source manuals but as they're getting it up there's more and more won't have the manuals just think how many game stores there are in the uk and how much stock they have or had left and now have thrown away and just bin all these manuals and most likely all they have done is bin the manuals they've probably not even recycled the fucking paper oh my god it just really more i thought about it wound me up and it's like do your pissing job like Two fucking seconds to check a manual. Someone else commented in the comments, I think, saying that there was another incident of some a manual having writing in it, um, which was probably untoward. The pre-owned games, the fucking pre-owned, people were probably writing them, whether there's a drawing of a dick or some swear words. Again, check them. Check them yourself before if you're buying it for a child or whatever. Check the face in manual. Ah. I know a lot of people moan at Holly when she's flicking through manuals and stuff for words. She, she checks them. Everybody else, if you're that bothered about it, just check the pissing manual. I told you I'd get onto a rant, did Anyway, I was lucky in that the Wii games actually still had the manuals in, so they weren't doing the pissing job properly anyway. Um, so yeah, luckily, the uh, I think all of the Wii games except for one had the manuals in. Uh, the reason we picked all these up without manuals, breaking my rule, Again, one, they were ridiculously cheap. Two, like I say, gamer getting rid of these, 
I, none of my game stores have them because I've either bought them up or everyone else has bought them up, whatever. So to even come across some was quite a rarity. Uh, most of them are cheaper than CX. So again, like I say, I've got them cheap. I've got some extra points on my card, which I'm saving up for something. Um, and most of these games are relatively easy to find, so I should be able to source a manual from CX or whatever, ping a manual out, do the old, yeah, switch it around the manual. So I should be able to get manuals for these is what I'm saying. It's just fucking annoying. Anyway, shall we crack on? So some of these were cheaper than what they were priced. There was a sign up saying all games now 99p or less. Um, and yeah, some of them were. I'll try and remember the receipts somewhere, I don't know. But anyway, first one. End War. Tom Clancy's End War. 49p. 49p. Not too bad. I think most of the achievements on this are now unobtainable due to the online no longer being available. There is our disc only game. Some more Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy's Hawks. I think the same problem with this one. This is 99p. Disc. Tom Clancy's Hawks 2. 99p. Disc only. These are flight sim games. I know. Don't on flight sim games. Now this does actually say on the back, fight in the same conflict depicted in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Didn't know that. That's quite interesting. So they're kind of linked, interlined. I didn't, don't mind the Future Soldier games. to play them quite a bit. And some of these, again, just picked them up because they were cheap. And don't have them. Might give them a go. I'm not a massive tennis fan, but we've got two tennis games. First one, 75p. Uh, Smash Court Tennis 3. Our disc. I'll be keeping these to the side. These won't even be going on the wall until they've got a manual. Just to remind me that I need a manual. Uh, 99p Virtua Tennis 4. <coughs> Did my voice go a bit high then? I think the rant has got to me, to my throat. I might need some more drink in a minute. Uh, I picked this one up because it had the hologram and the extra thing on the front. So 99p uh, WW2K14. Like I say, it's got the hologram and it's got this... Uh, extra including the ultimate warrior thing on the front so it's kind of a variant um unfortunately i don't know if that was a slip of paper which i might be quite hard to get but this is also let me take the disc out a uh, dual cover so it's reversible that's what i'm saying with so now i don't know who that geezer is on the inside so i'll be sticking with a rock so i actually know who that is mainly through movies not wrestling don't follow wrestling and then a couple more decenter titles so one which let me have a look i can't remember if i've actually picked it up no i haven't picked it up on the uh one yet it is in the fourth 20 and uh yeah if i do pick up another fourth 20 which i said i won't so i probably won't now although xbox one games don't usually come with manuals yet anyway um it's just a sticker on the discs i don't know we'll see if i can get another fourth 20 i don't know i'm already changing my mind but no no more last year Dragon Age Inquisition on the 360, the 360 version. I have played the Xbox One version. This is a double disc game, does have both discs in, luckily. Which, is it an install? No, it's just a two disc game, it's not an install disc. So yeah, got all the Dragon Age games now on the 360, so that's good to have. Picked up the standard version of this not long ago, actually. This was up at 99p, I don't know if this one was cheaper, I can't remember. But it's Dragon's Dogma Dark... Arisen version, so I don't know what the difference is between and whether this has more DLC or it is a slightly different game. I'm not sure, but I've got it to try out. It's supposed to be a good game. The guy even said it's a pretty good game, this version, so we'll give it a go and see. Um, what I played with the other one, quite enjoyed, so don't mind either going through it again or seeing what's new on that one. Uh, this was 99p. I'm not sure if this one came through cheaper as well. Um, Titanfall. For the 360. I do have it on the Xbox One. Played it quite a bit. Uh, the reason I picked up on the 360 is because I actually have all of the DLC for free. There was a day where they put all the DLC for free on the 360. So I downloaded it all anyway then and there. Just in case. And yeah. Now I picked the game up. So I've got all the DLC for free. If anyone is still playing this. We'll give it a go. Try it out. Disc. 
So yeah, they are our 360 games. Before we crack into the Wii, I need another drink because my throat's going. Glass is stuck to my coaster. Condensation. And the sun's finally coming back out. It's just absolutely pissed it down. It went a bit dark. I weren't sure about doing the video, but getting some light, so hopefully it's not too bad. Try to wear a light t-shirt to try and bring out the darkness. Uh, what should we do first? Wii or Wii U? Let's save the Wii U. Let's do the Wii first. Do the Wii. Something for old uh, Bear to look at, maybe. In fact, there's a couple of games here which I picked up on his recommendation. So, first one, which is the one without the manual, sadly. And this actually might be... Bird stuff in a bath. Um, this might actually be a bit of a pain to get the manual, because I've not seen this before, which is why I picked it up. It said it was one ninety nine. I think these all came through cheaper. So this may have been 99p. Uh, Secret Files 2. Pataras Cordis, I think it's pronounced. So, obviously the sequel to um, Secret Files 1, which I've seen quite a bit out. Um, yeah, Secret Files 1, Tunguska, which I've seen quite a bit. Like I say, unfortunately it's just a disc in this one. Um... Yeah, classic adventure game with four playable, sometimes cooperating characters, professional voice actors. It's nice. Comfortable controls with a diary, puzzle help, and hotspot display. Two player mode for co cooperative gameplay. So, yeah, me and the Mrs. Cleveland play it co op, so probably go through that. I'm not sure what kind of game it is. It looks like it might be a point and click adventure or some kind of third person adventure game. But yeah, we'll give it a go. It looked alright. For I think a quid. Um, then two games I kind of picked up on uh, Retro Bears um, recommendation. I've seen these loads, but just never bothered picking them up. And then he said they were pretty good, so I think they were both 99p each, maybe cheaper. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but they definitely that definitely wasn't 199. They were definitely 99p or cheaper. Um, so we'll go for this one first. Trauma Center Second Opinion. I don't know. So I think you play some kind of surgeon in it using the Wii motes to cut people open. But like I say, these ones actually have the manuals in, so they've not took these yet. So got a bit lucky on these ones, I suppose, even though these are probably the ones that are going to be the easiest to get the manual for. Then Trauma Center New Blood. So I don't know which one. It's first. It's got a nice condition manual actually, and it has all the both of them or all the ones. These have all of the um, kind of Nintendo gumph in there as well with the precautions, slip, the extra Nintendo scratch card thing. Yeah, they all have them in. That's nice to have. They can actually go straight into the collection. And the last one, um, which came for a lot cheaper, I think, than what they got it priced up at. It was priced up at a fiver. It's a Naruto game. Clash of Ninja Revolution European version. Uh, like I said, it's got a five on there. I think it came through at three pound, maybe two. Um, I'm not sure why it's a lot more, but I think uh, looking on CX, I think this actually doesn't hold a massive value, but I think it more than what I paid for it. Like I say, it's got a nice condition manual and all the slips of paper in there as well. Really nice condition on that one. I'm not really into Naruto. Don't know much about it. Um, I don't know what kind of game this is, whether it looks like a brawler, just a fight, maybe a 2D um, fighting game. It could be, yeah, it's four player, it's got four player on there, 20 playable characters. Yeah, I don't think there's anything much to it, I think it is just a, a fighting game. There's some screenshots for your viewing pleasure. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick it up, just because it was there and it had its manual and it was worth more than what I paid for it. Then we'll finish off with some nice Wii U titles, five Wii U titles. Save that one to the end. I don't think any of these had the manuals either. Um, so we'll be looking out for these. So a couple of picked up, well, the missus picked these first two up. She wanted them because she likes these games. I know I mentioned in my video, I don't like them. Um, but she does, and I'm running out of time, so I'm hoping to get through this quick. In fact, I might have a quick jump cut here and restart. So there we are, just ran out of time on that one. Um, so, yeah. First one she picked up, these were up at three, but I think these come through cheaper again, either two or 99p, I can't remember. Uh, Just Dance 2014, 
I say Mrs. Pitney's up, she likes to just dance games. <coughs> I'm not that keen on them. And just dance 15, 2015. So, two more for her to add in. I think we do have a just dance. Yeah, there's definitely one over there. I'm not sure which one it is. Not one of them anyway. And then we picked up two Lego games uh, for us to play co-op on the Wii U because we have that downstairs, so we'll play couch co-op on these. These again were marked up at a fiver, but I think they came through at like two quid, I think. Uh, Lego City Undercover, which is one I don't have actually on any other console. Um, so yeah, an exclusive game, if you like, for the Wii. Then we can play together on that one. So you just play as an undercover officer, Chase McCann, using the Wii gamepad as your ultimate detective tool. So that could be quite interesting to play on the Wii U. And the other one we got, which I think we were playing this on the Xbox One, but we've not finished it yet. But now we play through on the Wii U as well. Lego, the Lego movie video game. So I don't have this on any other console, we were just playing it, I think again, on the Game Pass on the uh, Xbox One. This does have a damaged bloody spool, so I'm not sure, I might have a replacement case, if not I can look out for one. But yeah, just a disc in there anyway. So, um, I know it's not got its manual, so I'll probably pick another one up and do the old switch and take this one back in the CX. And the last one we got, one I wanted. Uh, I got this on the 360, but I got it when it first came out, so it was a stand edition. This is Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge edition. So I think this is the better version, because the 360 standard version <coughs> had no dismemberments. And I can't remember if there was even blood in it. For some reason, they cut it out, which was ridiculous for a Ninja Gaiden game. But I really like my Ninja Gaiden games, so I picked this up for this console. Um... This has, I think, some extra stuff as well, so just checking. Yes, you get to play as Ayami in it as well in all new stages, which is the female purple-haired ninja there. If I can get the glare off, there we are, so I'll get an angle. So there's extra stages where you get to play as her, so definitely be playing through that again. And then on that console. So yeah, manualist aside, not a bad pickup. Got quite a few for some different consoles. I'm just going to insert this in here because I've finished finished video in and completely forgot to mention this because I left it to the side. It's game related but not games related. Um, something else I did get from Skeggy, which we got out of like I think a 2P machine. Uh, we found, got, found, won some collector's cards. Uh, trading cards for Five Night at Freddy's. So any trading card collectors out there or anyone who's interested in Five Night at Freddy's. We won these, so I thought I'd show you just to uh, add on there. Let's try and get them out of the bloody packet now. So, here we go. So, in each pack, you get six cards and a foil card. So, I'll show you the cards we've got basic backs on there with numbers. I've not actually played. Uh, the game, I don't know too much about it. But yeah, any trading card collector fans, anyone collecting these, let me know. I don't think I'll bother keeping them too much, that's not focusing. Pizza. Focus now. That one's pretty cool. And our hollow card, our foil card, a balloon, shiny man. Let's try and get this one to focus. There we go. So yeah, don't even know. Oh, focus. See, so yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I thought I'd just show them on there for anyone that's interested. There we are. She is going mental, so I've got to go and check her in a minute. She's having a bath, so there's going to be water bloody everywhere. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Let me know in the comments if you've played or got any of these games, as usual. What do you think of the bloody game? 
situation with the manuals are you bothered i know some people aren't bothered about manuals some people are i just think as a gaming as a collector and any collectors to even know that people are just throwing away manuals pointlessly for no bloody reason it's yeah it's just such a shame and game haven't been in my good books lately anyway because every time i go there i have a pissing problem so yeah i think this is the final straw for me i'm absolutely done with them like i say unless they get because they get all the bloody exclusive collector's edition this is a collector's edition i really want i pretty much won't be using game anymore there's almost no point um yeah it just gives cx that one more edge of taking over the competition so i know they're focusing more on new gen now anyway um but yeah whatever let me know your, your thoughts in the comments am i overreacting probably but yeah, it just got to me. It just did my nutting that that is now the case. But yeah, they'll be getting with them. Anyway, I think we've gone on long enough. I'll leave you to your day. Uh, like I said, I've got loads more to video, so they'll be coming. Take care, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.